Friends, here near Gaza border, our enemies are not sleeping. Uh, and neither can we afford to sleep at the wheel. We've, we've done that already. We have to be alert, vigilant, valiant, courageous. We don't have time for fear. I'm telling you what our enemies, I'm not just attacking us on all fronts and I'm not just talking about cyber bullying, cyber warfare, cyber attacks. What about what's going on with these, these ships being attacked? Still, the Houthi terror group in Yemen still shoots the free world's transports. Uh, that's not acceptable. Okay, look what's going on in Judea and Samaria. More and more, some call it the West Bank, more and more terror cells erupting and being uh, struck, pinpoint struck, we have the Jabal al-Nusra, we have the Islamic Jihad, Hamas in Gaza still. Yes, we've taken out much of the battalion in Rafah, but they still continue. And I'll tell you more about that just now. Iran's poised to attack. Look what here in the north, Hezbollah terror group. They just shot those 12 kids in, in the Golan. They're shooting all kinds of places. They're shooting my family. They shot a giant barrage hours ago of about 320 cruise missiles, UAVs on 11 of our army bases. That's where they were aiming for. And of course, all kinds of other, they're indiscriminate, all kinds of other targets, civilian targets all over. And those were, a lot of them were taken out by our scramblers, by our Arrow 3, by our Iron Dome, by God, really. And uh, they did have a few successful strikes that hit us hard. One was a chicken coop. Uh, a chicken coop, anyone want schnitzel? Chicken schnitzel, anybody? They burned up a chicken coop, but they missed most of their targets, but we went to full DEFCON mode, full um, full preparedness for all out war. Uh, everyone's going to bomb shelters because we identified 6,000 rockets, UAVs, massive barrages headed towards Tel Aviv, headed towards uh, just to completely overwhelm our systems. That's what they wanted to do. But guess what? Preemptive. Boom. We were able to do a preemptive strike. The Israel Air Force pray for these pilots. Some of my friends are. Uh, pray for them. It's a hard job. And uh, the majority of the Hezbollah rocket uh, launchers... Um, that were poised to shoot. They were aimed at Tel Aviv. They were aimed at the center. They were aimed. A uh, hundred of our of our fighter pilots in a hundred planes went fighter jets and bombed hundreds and hundreds, thousand, maybe a thousand targets of theirs. I'm sure that they are like going going like scratching their head. How is our sea seaports, airports, airfields, power plants being hit? Military targets being struck, and they go and and do another few missiles which were kind of erratic kind of amateurish so they're learning a hard lesson but an important lesson don't mess with the promised land and the in the promised land and the and the chosen people because god is going to be watching out for us there never was a palestinian state but let me tell you what israel was israel is and israel will be because we follow the god who was and is and is to come let me tell you this i've had a few scrapes with death and i praise god i'm alive down in the south Four soldiers lost their lives in the last hours. Uh, uh, Yahalom guys were RPG'd, but none of us actually died. I'm telling you what, I'm actually absolutely drained. My muscles, my, my, I'm just absolutely tired. Um, I'll tell you, you gotta see how they do this. Look at their guerrilla warfare. This is how they do it. They lurk in the shadows. They lurk in underground layers. They're in tunnels. They're like ghosts. Well, they're like the ghosts. that they will soon become that they so desire to become it's it's sad to see that somehow the 105 hostages remaining their location has eluded us we're still drilling we're still searching and i'm talking constant drilling but let me just honor these soldiers that fell daniel sergeant first class in reserves age 26 from batiam he died uh, sergeant first class nitai metodi he is from ashkelon uh, sergeant major yaniv oren uh, 35 from en Gedi. In the Jerusalem Brigade, Sergeant First Class Eviatar Atuar, age 24, from the Jerusalem Brigade, and I'm telling you what they're 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 using these charges. They're using these charges. They're using these um, all kinds of different ways to s surprise us and then RPG us and then shoot us uh, out of nowhere. And also these cut to bombs. They're like these UAVs. Check how they how they work. Uh, the enemy will be defeated. Psalms 27, 5. In the time of trouble, he will hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle, he will hide me and set me upon a rock. I believe that. And as we, as we begin this week, friends, pray for us. Pray for strength. Pray for protection. And pray that the enemy will be defeated and that God's name will be glorified in his land.
thank you for standing strong and speaking love.